Pickett is the pitcher. He gets settled in for Boston. What is it about this Baltimore lineup that they'll be looking for from him today? Well, Beckett with his over-the-top delivery has four high-quality pitches. That four-seam fastball, a two-seamer to get the ground balls, a curveball, and a changeup to keep the hitters off balance. And it's Brian Roberts in the box now. The ability to steal bases last year among the league's top ten. Over to Euclid. One away now. Now batting for the Baltimore Orioles. Left fielder, number 20. We'll take a look here and see where the Red Sox are positionally around the diamond. So, Steve, any individual standout? Jason Veritek, the captain behind the plate. He's a leader. You can just tell by the way he carries himself. Everybody follows him. And we've got P.A. batting. Base is empty with one away. On the ground to short. Lowell picking it up. Over to Euclid. That's the second out of the inning. And a look at the lineup for Dave Tremblay's team presented by State Farm. Steve, how about anyone in that lineup you want to highlight? One of the better breaking ball hitters in the game. He makes adjustments. Melvin Moore, Gary, can really swing the bat. And it's Nick Markakis now. 305 batting average. But Gary, I love his approach at the plate. He doesn't try to do too much. He reacts to where the ball's pitched. He uses the whole field and always looks to make contact. Here's the 0-1 from Beckett. Check swing here. Did he go around? They say no. They're going to look down to third to see if he did. No go is the call, so he'll dig back in again. The 1-1 one, one on the way. Swung on, and that's fouled back. You know, Gary, the reason contact is so important and why I reference it so much with regard to his, his approach is that the best hitters in the game are guys who put the ball in play. They hit the ball from line to line. One-two pitch coming. Curveball that tied him up in knots. Swung on and missed. Side retired. In, out of the inning. Six pitches, and it's over. Nobody's put one up yet here in Baltimore. 